Hello and welcome to this video on substitution. Now what do I mean by substitution? What I mean is if you have different algebraic expressions and let's just say that someone gave you the values of each of the variables. So I said that a was equal to 3 and I said b was equal to 4. Then how do I find the value of these expressions? Now let's just do these quick examples here. Now let's say we had 2a and the value of a was 3. What does 2a mean? Well it means 2 lots of a, i.e. 2 times a, which is 3, because we said a was 3, and that would be 6. So if a is 3, then 2a, the value would be 6. What about this one? We've got a minus 3b. So let's substitute in these different values. To substitute means to replace the variable with its respective value. So a is worth 3, so let's put that in there. And we're going to minus, I'm going to put the minus there, 3b. Now what's 3b? Well, it's 3 lots of 4, because b is 4. 3 lots of 4 is 12, and that means I have 3 minus 12, which is minus 9. And then finally, we've got b squared. What is the value of b squared? Is b is 4? Well, that's just 4 squared, because b is 4, and 4 squared, we know, is equal to 16. Now let's do some more examples. We've got um, x is 3, we've got y is 4, and we've got z is 5, and we'll do some harder ones after this involving negative numbers. So what would xy plus z be? Now what I highly recommend is that when you're substituting in, we could write the full working, we could write uh, 3 times 4 because x is 3, y is 4, 3 times 4 plus 5, but I recommend each of the terms, working them out in your head where you can, and then putting the symbols in between. So what would x, y be? That means x times y, that's 3 times 4, which is 12. Let's put the symbol in between. And then we've got z, which we know is 5, and that gives us 17. Let's do b. We've got 2x squared. Now you have to be very careful here, we've got x, you've got a squared here and you've got a times by 2. But which one comes first? And this is where you have to think about Bidmus. Now in Bidmus, if you look at Bidmus, you've got B-I-D-M-A-S. Now I stands for indices, which means powers, and that's above the M, which is the multiplication, because you've got 2 times this thing here. So that means we do the power first, so x gets squared first, because the powers comes first, and then we do the multiplication, the times by 2. So it means 2 lots of x squared. It doesn't mean 2x squared. And that's a very common student error. So we're going to do 2 times x squared. Now what's x squared? It's 3 squared, which is 9. And that means it's 18. And then C, we've got uh, x, y plus z. Now if we look at this Bidmus again, we can see that we should do brackets first. So we should do this bracket first. We got y plus z, and then we should times it by x, which is the 3. So we got 3 times by, and then we do all this bracket all at once. So y plus z, that's 4 plus 5, is 9. And then we got 3 times 9, which is 27. And then finally, we got 2x plus 3y. Now, as I said before, try and do each term in your head where you can, and then put the symbols in between. So we've got 2x, which is 2 lots of 3, so that's 6, plus, symbol in between, 3y, that's 3 times 4, which is 12, and then 6 plus 12 is 18. Right, this is where it gets slightly hard now, because we're going to deal with negative numbers. So, we've got x is minus 3, we've got y is 4, and we've got z is minus 5. And we want to determine the value of, firstly, 2x plus y. Now, if you take my advice from before, let's work out each individual term and then put the symbols in between. So we've got 2x. Now, what's 2x? What's 2 lots of minus 3? 2 times minus 3. Now, we know that a positive times a negative number is a negative number. So it's going to be negative. And 2 times 3 is 6, so it's minus 6. Put the symbol in between, plus, and then y we know is 4. Now what's minus 6 plus 4? It is minus 2. Now b, we got y minus x. 
And as before, I recommend just writing what each term is worth with the symbols in between. So we've got y, which is just 4, minus, symbol in between, x, which is minus 3. Now, if you remember, when we subtract a negative number, we end up adding it. So it becomes 4 plus 3, which is 7. And that is the answer. Let's do C. We've got x squared plus z squared. And again, let's look at each term, work them out in our head, and then put the symbol in between. So we've got x squared first. That's minus 3 squared. Now, to square a term means to times it by itself. So it's minus 3 times by itself, minus 3 again. So minus 3 times minus 3, negative times negative is positive, so it's got to be positive 9. 3 times 3 is 9. And then the symbol in between, plus, and then we've got z squared, that's minus 5 squared, and in the same way, negative times negative is positive, it gives you positive 25. And then 9 plus 25 is just 34. Right, next one, D, we've got y minus xz. So again, we look at each term individually. Y is 4. Put the symbol in between. And then let's do x times z. So that's minus 3 times minus 5. Negative times negative is positive. So it's positive 15. And then it's 4 minus 15, which is equal to minus 11. Let's do the next one, E. We've got x minus yz. Do the same thing again. We've got x, which is minus 3. Put the symbol in between, minus, and then work out yz in isolation. So we've got y times z, 4 times minus 5. Positive times negative is negative, so it's going to be negative 20. You can see you have to be very careful about signs here. We've got minus 3 plus 20, because we're subtracting a negative. So that becomes minus 3 plus 20, and minus 3 plus 20 is positive 17. Now, a few final ones. We've got f, which is x plus yz squared. Do the same thing. So we've got x, which is minus 3. Symbol in between, plus. Now, this one's a bit harder to do in our head, but let's try. We've got y times z squared. And notice by bidmus, the power comes first. So it's the z that's squared first, and then you're timesing it by y. So it's y times z squared. It's not yz squared. Let's do a tiny bit of working, actually. So we're going to get have 4 times, and then z squared, minus 5 squared is 25, positive 25. So that gives us minus 3 plus 100, which equals to 97. And the final one, we've got y minus z, x minus z. So, let's try this. We've got y, which is 4, and then we're subtracting z, which is minus 5, and then x minus z. Can we do that in our heads? We've got x, which is minus 3, and we're subtracting minus 5. So it's minus 3, minus, minus 5. And then let's just try and simplify this. There's negatives all over the place here, but we'll try and tidy it up. Well, we're subtracting a negative here, so it's going to be 4 plus 5 lots of. And then what's minus 3 plus 5? Well, that's 2. That gives us 4 plus 10, which is equal to 14. Now, as the final test of your understanding, I want you to have a go at these questions. So we've got A is 2, B is minus 3, C is minus 6, and I want you to find the value of these different expressions. We've got BC plus A, we've got 4B squared, we've got 2A plus 3B, we've got 3A minus 4C, we've got C squared minus B squared, we've got 2C squared minus AB, and a super difficult one at the end, BC minus 2A squared C. So you may want to pause the video at this point and have a go at these. Right, let's have a go. So, we firstly got BC plus A, and that's going to be equal to, if A is 2 and B is minus 3 and C is minus 6, well, BC is minus 3 times minus 6, which is 18. Put the symbol between, plus, and then we've got A, which is 2, and 18 plus 2 is 20. Right, second one. 
we've got 4b squared. That means 4 lots of b squared. So 4 lots of 4 times b squared. Now minus 3 squared. Negative times negative is positive, so it's times 9. And 9 times 4 is 36. C, we've got 2a plus 3b. Now let's do each term in turn. We've got 2a, 2 lots of 2 is 4. Plus is a symbol in between. 3b, that's 3 lots of minus 3. 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. And when we add a negative, we subtract it. So 4 minus 9 is minus 5. Let's do D. We've got 3a minus 4c. 3a is 3 lots of 2, which is 6. Symbol in between, minus 4c. That's 4 times minus 6, which is minus 24. That becomes 6 plus 24, which is 30. Then we got E, we got C squared minus B squared. Now C squared is minus 6 squared, which is 36, minus, symbol in between, B squared is minus 3 squared, which is positive 9, and then 36 minus 9 is 27. We've got F, we got 2C squared minus AB. Now two lots of C squared, that's two lots of minus 6 squared, so that's two lots of 36, which is 72. And then we've got minus, a symbol in between, AB, that's 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6. And then we've got 72 plus 6, which is 78. And then finally, super difficult one at the end, we've got BC, minus 3 times minus 6 is positive 18. And then symbol in between, minus, and then we've got... 2 times, let's try and do this in chunks, 2 times a squared, which is just 4, times c, which is minus 6. And let's simplify that a bit. We've got 18 minus, let's deal with this, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times minus 6 is minus 48. That becomes 18 plus 48, and that is 66.